Spagnuolo loves to disguise his coverages. And I found a play that I think that really, really shows that. And we'll go over it here. There's about 12 minutes left to go in the game. It's the fourth quarter. And the Chargers are facing a second and 14. So we'll go ahead and just start with the coverage that, that River sees immediately. You can see that he immediately sees that cover two. Now, what cover two is, is two safeties in the back here. It's a zone coverage, meaning each of the players divides up a certain portion of the field. The safeties cover the back end of the field here and here, and then the shallower ends of the field are covered by the cornerbacks and the linebackers. You have a cornerback covering the side of the field here, a linebacker covering the short portion here, linebacker covering the center portion right here, Honey Badger over here covering the side, and then Ward, the quarterback on the outside, covering the outside shallow zone there. So River sees that to start. And then the Chiefs move a little bit. And we'll pause it right there again. So again, the Chiefs are still in the cover two. But this time, the Chiefs are now showing blitz. And it's most likely coming from number 54 here, down the, the gut, right through the center here. Now, they could also be blitzing 53, but that would leave a giant portion of the zone wide, wide open. So it's most likely just one. And by the look of it, with the pre-snap movement, you're looking at 54 here, which means you still have your two safeties in the back covering those deeper zones. But the split here is going to be split into four areas instead of five, meaning less people to cover uh, the same area. So each player is covering a little bit bigger volume of an area. Again, your cornerback is going to be covering that outside. Uh, now this linebacker is most likely going to have to drift over here to cover. And then you've got Honey Badger going to be covering this area right here and that. So instead of the one, two, three, four, five zones, you have one, two, three, four. So you can do certain things to beat that. And we'll kind of go over Rivers actually goes to make an adjustment here at the line. And here's what he's telling everyone. He says, these are the routes that we're going to use to beat this concept. He's going to have his wide receiver run down the field and across. What that's going to do is open up this wide receiver right here. Because this linebacker over here is going to have to drift and come down around this side. It's going to open him up to, to basically run this way. Basically, that's a win-win for the offense because either this cornerback is going to have to stay in his zone here immediately, allowing that wide receiver to run by him, kind of open him up for that catch over there is that safety has to, to follow him that way. Or as this wide receiver goes in and cuts towards the boundary, it's going to open up that area if he likes to follow him down that way. On the opposite side, you have something similar going on. We're going to be having Keenan Allen attacking this the, the boundary here, which is that open spot that we discussed earlier in cover two. So he's going to run down and cross, and they're going to do the same thing here, and he's going to run straight down. So that basically seems like a, a good idea for the Chargers. Except... The Chiefs aren't in cover three, and we're going to slow this down so you can kind of see it a little bit here as well. So the Chiefs, immediately after Rivers adjusts for the play, jump and change positions. So at the snap, here's what's actually going on. The Chiefs are in a cover three, which means they have a, a high safety back here. Um, he's covering that center portion. And then the cornerbacks are now going to be drifting back and covering the far end of the field as well. So there are zones here and here. Nobody's blitzing at all. It's just the four linemen here that are attacking the quarterback. So you, now you have this one covering the outside zone. You have this one covering here. Straight, straight, straight. So again, it's completely and utterly different. Those routes now don't work, and we'll kind of show you what happens. So... I expect you to be able to receive the ball either right there at a cut. It doesn't really work out, first of all. Again, your safety's coming down. That's no longer an option. That's where Rivers is immediately looking at. He's forcing him inside. So 
your safeties here can take away that inside route. You also have him inside, so we can't cut there, can't cut too soon. Same thing down here again. Again, he's not really too concerned about giving up the the inside as much anymore and can follow Keenan Allen down and across. He's not worried about picking between the two and he can just follow him straight across. So again, Rivers doesn't have any options here. His only option is the running back coming out of the back. And to give Philip Rivers some credit, that's the option that he picks. The defense knows this, and Frank Clark is able to get his hands up and bat the ball down.